ever since the video on the option of choosing a precast slabs or blocks for your biodigester construction i've had a few comments and a few questions that i've had to answer on how efficient and how strong are the prefabricated slabs that we use in our biodigesters hi this is dreamhouse biodigesters providing homeowners that need a peace of mind in terms of their wastewater pollution if you are new to this channel subscribe for videos that explains how these biodegradable waste biodigesters are working now i've had a few comments about how strong are slabs that we use or the prefabricated slabs that we use in biodigester construction and i've had to answer people saying that they work the same way it doesn't matter if you are using blocks or if you are using breaker slabs i've given the advantages in this video i'm going to leave the link up there you can go check it out but basically breaker slabs are also done with the prefabricated mindset so we have the, the quarter rolls we have the wire mesh and then the mixtures that we do the appropriate mixture with the cement and then the quarry dust that we use for those construction in terms of the prefab fabrication now people are wondering that the way they see them they might not last long and i also tell them that it's not an issue remember that when you do buy a digester the key problem that you're going to have or what you should be looking out for is not the materials in terms of the blocks or the prefabricated materials that were used because those ones will always be there the problem you are going to have to look at or the first solution that you must find out for or what you must ask the constructor is where the wastewater is going to go and how it's going to be managed if there's no way you are going to have a good solution for the wastewater it doesn't matter if you use blocks or you use prefabricated slabs the problem you have will still be the same but because the idea of biodigesters means that the wastewater must be taken out immediately you flush the human waste from inside the house there's virtually nothing that was going to stay in the digester it's the human waste together with the biodegradable materials that will be left for the decomposition to occur so the tank that you are using does not matter it's rather where the wastewater is going in some places when you go the land is not good and then it's clay and then it's salty then you should be looking at having an enhanced um, system that you use in terms of probably using precast instead of using the precast then you might be forced to use blocks but if you go to a place and the soil is good and all things are equal there's no problem in using prefabricated slabs in some houses there's not enough space so that's where the idea of prefabricated slabs came from initially when we were doing this by the construction we were doing it for low-income houses we were doing it for we, we had contracts with low-income houses from the assemblies and we were replacing the traditional panel trains from homes that had them so then the idea was that if you do the precast slabs they will easily fit into the base of the seat and then the seat can come on it and then it will fit there nicely in the amount of space that the homeowner will give you that's where the idea of the prefabricated slabs came from and then it's easy turnaround time for constructed but over the years we have not seen any particular problems with using them people have done blog works that's still messed up that's still the top cover goes out and all those stuff the key part is to take a constructor or look for a constructor that whenever you have trouble or you have problem you call on them they will come and fix the problems that you are having and usually we also say that when the digester is done for you it's best you secure your land you secure the area you secure the digester if precast slabs are used you can also reinforce it some people have done by digesters that they have reinforced with tiles with pavement blocks and with other things around it just to make it firm just to protect it from all the weather and the wear and tear that comes with having these things exposed in the environment so the owners also lies on you the investor or the homeowner who does a buy digester to protect your your property so if an installer does a digester for you and the top slab is not well covered obviously you can also do extra concrete on it it doesn't spoil anything the key part is to know the location of the digester so that whenever it's time for maintenance and it's time for any work to be done on it it can easily be located and then the top slabs or whatever might will be taken off and then work will be done in the key part also like i always say is to make sure that the inside the digester that the digester bed is not wet is dry so that the decomposition can take place and whenever the digester is open you are virtually not going to see anything inside and then you know that you are in safe hands dream house by digesters if you are giving you enough reasons to subscribe to the channel and you are new here please do 
leave a comment below and like this video you can also share it to those who will be needing it